Okay, so finally, I mean, uh, the PX4 uh, basic setup is done. We have already compiled it. We did some kind of, you know, simulation in Gazebo. We ran this X uh, 500 quad rotor and it was flying very well in Gazebo Garden, right? So now we'll continue with the addition of, you know, the custom message. So let me minimize everything and only keep this folder up. Okay. And let me go back. This is our source PX4 folder. Here you cloned everything and it is just a default PX4 firmware right now. I have not done any kind of editing in this. Now we'll start the editing. So first what you'll have to do is you just have to go inside the message folder okay now let's create a message a custom message uh, I can create a, a simple file or maybe I can create a copy of let's say this debug value I'll paste it in the same folder and rename it you can create a you know uh, a, a, a simple uh, file and then edit it I have just made a copy you can also make a copy that's not at all a problem let's name it custom underscore message okay so this is our custom message file now inside that let's say we have the timestamp okay then let's make this value okay and custom underscore value all right you can write whatever you want I've just given this value and custom value okay let's save this file now we need to register this message inside the CMake list file so let me just copy the name okay and go inside CMake list and add that message here. Sorry, here we can add. There also you can add, that's not a problem. Okay. So our custom message is listed. That's all. Here the work is done. Now if you will compile, let's go to the build folder here and if you'll check the uop topics you will not find any kind of custom message now let's make all now it will build our custom message see now you'll start seeing those custom messages here in the build directory let the cus I mean the custom sorry uh, the compilation process complete and we'll see our topic here let's just wait for the compilation to complete see you can see it right now here okay okay so finally the compilation is done again I am in the source folder go inside build the CTL we are working on right now uob topics and we have the custom message and our messages are here the custom value and the value all right and this is our timestamp all right so this is our message now let's go back in the source directory okay where is the source directory here src so we have already set up the message the topic is available now we can go inside this and here we have the modules and here in the modules we have mavlink okay so inside mavlink one more mavlink folder is there 
this folder has message definitions version 1 and lot of XML files okay so we need to create one more XML file here for our message that we want to stream using Mavlink okay so uh, we need to just create a, a custom message dot XML file here and link that with maybe all dot XML or common dot XML any file will work okay so uh, how exactly we'll write it we have a you know test dot XML we can actually create a copy of this and modify based on based on our requirements so let's create a copy name it custom underscore message dot XML okay and here we need to modify our message uh, we don't need all these fields fields just right here custom message fields type field types and here we need custom underscore message and the message ID we can write something like 1351 we need to check uh, whether this uh, message ID is conflicting with some other message ID or not uh, because I have been using it earlier and I mean I know that this ID is open uh, we can use it very easily that's why I've selected this okay but you can uh, type whatever ID you want now let's remove all these fields as we don't need uh, let's just keep these two three fields and remove others okay we have these three fields now now let's go to the message inside the custom message if you'll see we have u in 64 timestamp all right let me just take this message file out from there okay so we have u in 64 timestamp so uh, let me just go back uh, we had u in 64 here right so I'll modify this itself timestamp okay and we don't need others so I remote this is one message that we want to use okay now the second one is int 8 and it is value okay and the other one is float 32 okay so let's remove other messages also and type custom underscore value all right so this is our message and we are ready with it now let's close it let's close the message file as well uh, now let's uh, add our custom message dot xml uh, in uh, all dot xml or we can also add that in you know common dot xml that's not a problem uh, I generally prefer to add that in common dot uh, xml uh, so uh, let's add it here uh, here is the standard dot xml file uh, we can add our file uh, custom message uh, dot XML oops uh, let's remove this XML okay so uh, still custom underscore message dot XML okay so once this file is added uh, we can close it and what we can do is uh, we can uh, just go back to the main file and do other additions.